Well, hey, it's uh, Rob Daywalt, and I'm back here to talk to you again for a few minutes on um, APA form of citation and uh, I will say that um, I've had some students contact me on this because we've been at this a while and you're saying that in some of the writing assignments there have been some uh, suggestions by me on um, some issues. So I'm taking a minute here out of the busy schedule in terms of discussion topics to talk about uh, APA citation, okay? Now, one thing to keep in mind is APA stands for American Psychological Association. And uh, basically that's the group that uh, psychologists join uh, and what you found though is that this method of citation has expanded into all the social sciences. Social sciences include sociology, social work, uh, criminal justice, political science, uh, economics, and a number of these different areas. Uh, as an alternative to that, there's another type of citation called MLA, which is used in the humanities and that includes English, history, philosophy, and some things like that. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people have no concept of any form of citation and just make it up as they go along, or they use an MLA or another type. For example, there's a Chicago Manual of Style, but there's also one called Tarabian, uh, and so uh, you've got to decide um, which one your program is going to use and the ones that we generally use uh, in uh, criminal justice is um, APA. Now one thing I would say though is that if you're in my laws class or in a legal class uh, some type of class like that uh, there's kind of like a modified APA because uh, for cases for example uh, we use uh, something different which is called the Harvard Blue Book System or just Blue Book System. And so that is just a form of case citation. Uh, so we'll cover that in a separate session, the Harvard Blue Book. Uh, for now we're going to focus on the APA for both criminal justice and any kind of legal class that you're in. I would also point out to you that APA is being used in business a lot and also nursing are some other areas that have adopted that as, as a system in a lot of different colleges and universities around the country. So the biggest thing is we need to know that there is uh, what we call in-text citation and you'll probably see uh, me say something in my grading comments uh, you know, incorrect in-text citation, okay? Well, what do we mean by that? Well, uh, the preferred method is author, last name, year, okay? Now, if you're just making a reference to somebody else's work, you want to at least include author, year. Now, if you're doing a direct quote of that person, then you need author, year, and page. So in other words, if they said, you know, well, the world is flat on page 11 of some book that they wrote, then you want the author's last name, the year, and the page that they said the world is flat. So you would put in quote marks, the world is flat, okay? Uh, and then at the end, you would put, and this is something where I made a lot of mistakes over the years, you put author, year, page, close, parentheses, and period, okay? The period goes here, not here, okay? And there's no comma here, okay? So it's almost like this isn't even here, but it is here. So you have to put the period down there on that end. Okay, so then you put your quote marks out here. So world is flat. 
Okay, so you probably put three dots if it's not a complete sentence. But so you're, I think, maybe getting the gist of what I'm trying to explain to you. This is just the in-text part of uh, citation. So you know, how do you find this stuff uh, to check it on on your own? Um, well, there's a great website out there, and it's called Purdue Owl. And uh, that's, it's a product of Purdue, and OWL is, a, is something to do with uh, a, uh, a reference to a program there at Purdue. But uh, what you want is, you, want, you can look up directly at owl.english.purdue.edu uh, slash owl slash resources slash 560 slash 01 slash. Now, the only thing I would also say to you is, quite frankly, I just go to Google and I Google on Purdue Owl. Two words, Purdue space Owl. Okay, and then when I get in there, I pick APA. So it takes me right to APA, everything I need to know about APA. Okay, well, what else is there in APA that I need to know? Well, important is that you need to have a running head on all of your pages. So in other words, a short version of your title to your paper, the very top, running head, pagination, which means page one, page two, page three, uh, and so forth. Uh, you need to have a good, solid cover page, very simple, uh, direct, and it's uh, up at the top, uh, more toward the top third of the page. Uh, you know, you've got your title, uh, maybe your name and maybe your school. You don't have to have the date, you don't have to have my name, those are extraneous, but if you want to put those in, I'm not going to hold that against you. Uh, just spell my name right. If you take on the uh, role of spelling my name, make sure that that's an A, not an E. Okay? Now, you know, you may think, well, what a pompous jerk. He's worried about how to spell his name, but spelling is spelling. Okay? You've got to pay attention to detail. I had a professor that uh, jumped on me because my uh, margins were uh, 1.5 inches, not one inch. But that makes a whole big difference in a 30-page paper. That's really just a 25-page paper that I've pumped up to make it look like a 30-page. Well, I didn't even know. I didn't know how to even set margins back in those days, so I learned that, but it was a hard lesson because it cost me 15 points. Same way with names. You misspell some professor's name 10 points, okay? Well, you want to include also uh, with this, and I'm going to have to make some room to keep up with this, uh, you want to include an abstract. You know, well, what's an abstract? Abstract, very difficult for some people to catch on to this concept and that is um, it's kind of a short summary of what's in the paper okay what's this paper about okay uh, and this is a separate page behind your cover page it's not on the same one watch some of these canned uh, things that you could get from like Microsoft Word where it says you know type uh, title here and then you type your title. Well, if it still says type title here when you turn it into me, there's something wrong with that. You need to take that off and type your title there. Or type it in such a way that you're deleting their advice to you, type title here. That's not supposed to be there. Same way abstract. Move on down, start a separate page. It's all by itself on a page. Uh, always double space, okay? Double space everything except direct quotes, okay? Double space, everything except direct quotes, okay? So that's important, all right? Uh, uh, another thing is that uh, when you're looking at this, um, you know, you want to be sure that uh, you involve yourself in the correct uh, basically reference list. So there's three types of references I want to talk about in this and uh, and let's touch on those real quick. Okay, references to, okay, so you have a reference page. It's not works cited. 
It's not uh, whatever, it's references, okay? So put references, and then let's say that you've got a book. that I haven't published a book yet, but if I did, it would look something like this. And then, you know, the thing on that is that You know, I'm just using that today. I don't know why. That's just a thing I'm on right now. Notice that only the first letter is capitalized, okay? Okay, so the world is flat. I don't know if you can even read that. Another thing is lots of commas in here. Comma, comma, period, period, 2015, comma, okay? Parentheses always around the year, okay? Now, this is the one that seems to always be a stumper, okay? You need a hanging indent, okay? And so, here is how that is done. Now, this is a book reference, okay? So notice the important things here. Name, last, first two initials, no more than that. Not name, not first name, not middle name, last name, first two initials, then year, okay? Then only the first letter of the title is capitalized. A lot of people want to capitalize every important word and you don't do that. Then it's the publisher, city, and state. If it's like Canada, then you want to reference it to, uh, you know, uh, Canada as well. And then if it's whatever the publisher's name is, you always include, you know, Oxford Publishing, Oxford Publishing Company, Oxford Publishing Incorporated, Pearson Publishing, uh, whatever, okay? Now let me say something to you right here because I think this is appropriate. Too many of you are using things like Wikipedia or uh, blogs or uh, stuff that you just find up on the um, internet and just want to throw that up on there and that's, that's no good. We are looking for peer-reviewed, peer-reviewed material, okay? So if you're going to have a paper, an academic paper, and you want to cite sources, then you want to cite peer-reviewed sources, okay? Now here's the problem. People say, well, I use this website, but I can't find an author name. Don't use it. There are so many things out there that you can use. Find something that you can figure out who the author is. There's more work to it than you realize. You've got to dig in and try to find uh, author and year. Now, sometimes you can't, but I hate it when I pick up a paper and everything on it is no author, no year, no date. You know, I mean, that, that just cheapens the whole process. So. Peer-reviewed. Well, okay, what is peer-reviewed? Peer-reviewed is that a committee has gone over this paper with a fine-tooth comb, found all the things that are wrong with it, and they've been corrected. Or the paper's been rejected. If the paper gets through that process and is published in a book or a journal, then that is a good quality paper, something worthy of being cited. Somebody that just throws something together on Sunday afternoon about how much he hates, uh, you know, our government today or, or whatever. Uh, you know, you might want to use that as an example of what's wrong with this country, but you don't want to use that as a source, peer-reviewed source. It's not a peer-reviewed source. Nothing in Wikipedia is peer-reviewed, okay? So you don't want to use that. Uh, sometimes the sources in Wikipedia are peer-reviewed, so that's a little bit of a hint, but you really want to go for peer-reviewed. Well, besides books, you know, what things are peer-reviewed? 
Well, um, the biggie is uh, what we call scholarly, scholarly journals, okay? Scholarly journals. All right? Well, what do we mean by that? Well, certain colleges take responsibility or private groups, committees, uh, uh, whole national organizations, international organizations, they take responsibility to publish certain important uh, work that's being done in their field. So like, for example, uh, Criminology, which is a journal, uh, is published by the group uh, American Society for Criminology. Uh, you know, the Journal for Criminal Justice published by uh, ACJS, Academy for Criminal Justice Sciences. So uh, things like that that you're working on, uh, those are what we call scholarly journals. And what they do is they have committees that look at people's work <coughs> and they make Decisions. Yes, we'll publish this. No, we won't. We need to make these corrections. You know, this type thing. Well, <coughs> what I'm referencing <coughs> Excuse me. When I'm referencing something that's in a peer-reviewed journal it'll look something like this okay so we've got the author's last name initials the year that is published and the title of the journal article actually my bad okay and then what we get down to here is uh, we have um, the actual um, name of the journal. So this is where we get down here, journal name. And I want to check this to make sure I'm doing it right for you. But notice here once again, important thing in APA, hanging indent, okay, hanging indent, okay. So that's really important. Uh, and you know, that's another thing that we want to keep in mind is uh, sometimes, and we've seen this, is this right here uh, needs to be, you know, indented uh, from that hanging end. It needs to be pushed over. So this is what it looks like without my little comments here on the side. So you've got the name of the journal in here. The other thing is, Sometimes that they, and this is not really underlined, what I'm trying to draw attention to is use of italics. Uh, and you know, so that's something you want to put in there, italics. And then uh, basically uh, a lot of times you have uh, volume, which in this case is like, let's say 1, 10, 11, uh, or issue. Uh, and here once again, that is, you know, like one, two, three, four, and then pages, okay? So in real life, what we'd be looking at here then is author, title journal, journal name, in italics, volume, issue, pages, okay? So it would look sort of like this. And then, of course, there's a period at the end, okay? So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about the references aren't done right. If you're using a journal article, you want to always cite it correctly. And uh, very few people do that. A lot of people, they get in a hurry. They may put part of it in there. They leave part of it out. Uh, and so that's important. Now there's one more thing I want to cover, and then we're going to finish with this. And then I'm going to come back later and hit on the Harvard Blue Book if that applies to your situation. <coughs> and that is, I want to talk about a uh, electronic source, okay? Now one of our problems that we get into on this a lot of times is that 
Um, all too often. Now I'm putting up. I am putting up an electronic source here. Okay, so here I am. Here I'm starting. Author, first name, middle name, year. Okay, title to work. Okay, now, but you're saying, well, wait a minute. This is electronic. Well, you need to find that. Okay, and if it's uh, let's say journal name. Or it could be an organization. Okay. And then the important critical thing here always is uh, retrieved from. Okay. Notice first letter is capitalized retrieved from. And then you drop over here and you go HTTP. www.somethingfoundonline.com okay and you know so that's that's pretty important okay is that you know I see all of you you want to just jump right to here and you want to put that right there. And some of you even do one, www.case.com. Or two, www.joe.org. You know, it's not, that's no good. I mean, you've got to go more in depth. You've got to find out more information. So that we know that when we click on that, it's going to go to this, okay? We've got to be sure. The one, two, three, you don't need that. Never need that. Okay? That's the last thing I'm going to tell you. All this stuff up on here is alphabetical. Alphabetical. Okay? So if it's Daywald is your first one, that's the lowest alphabetical. It goes first. Uh, if someone's name is uh, Apple, that goes above Daywald. Okay? Uh, if it's uh, right, that goes below. Okay, so it's A through Z, you know, top to bottom, uh, alphabetical in APA. Okay, so uh, use your alphabet and don't, you know, try to put one, two, three, four, five, or uh, the order in which they come up in the articles, in the written work, or anything like that. So. But what you do need to remember when you get to the end, and this is the last thing I'm going to say about this for now, is if you cite something in your paper as author year, there better be a reference for it in the reference section. And if you cite something in the reference section, there needs to be a cite to it in the body of the paper, author year. So the author year matches up with author year in your reference section. So the guy's reading your paper on page three, and he sees Jones 2008, and he drops down in the reference section. Well, where's this Jones? I want to read this. I want to dig into this more. Well, there's no Jones 2008. Well, what does that make people think about your paper? Well, is there a Jones 2008 or not? And which Jones that published something in 2008? So, you know, this has to be bulletproof in order to avoid being accused of plagiarism. And that topic of plagiarism is something we're going to go into next time we get up on here. So, you know, enjoy this. I hope it helps. Be sure to crack down on your papers. Try to do a better job. I'll be back later with more comments. Thanks for watching. Bye now.